Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with the evening news. The headlines. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipiru launches state-dedicated COVID-19 helpline. Third phase of lockdown comes into effect from today and will continue till 17th of this month. Chief Secretary Demchintoy says inter-district movement of migrants and stranded persons allowed in regulated manner. And civil services preliminary examination 2020 postponed in view of COVID-19 pandemic. Chief Minister Nipirio today launched a dedicated Nagaland COVID-19 helpline number offering daily consultation, daily counselling services for people of the state. The Nagaland helpline number will provide medical assistance to potential COVID-19 cases as well as other health concerns across the state. The toll-free helpline number is 1-800-345-0019. I repeat, 1-800-345-0019. Chief Minister Nipirio said, any citizen showing COVID-19 symptoms or any other health conditions can call the helpline. He said the service is completely free of cost for all citizens across the state. The Chief Minister also informed that the state has partnered with Project Step 1 to provide COVID-19 specific daily medicine. He said through this facility, citizens can stay at home and consult the doctor on the phone and take advice on what steps they should follow. Rio further said the same service is available for any other health concern, including general counselling, which will be handled by the state local health professionals. While expressing his happiness on the launch of the Delamet helpline, the Chief Minister hoped that the service will be of good service to the citizens. The third phase of lockdown has come into effect from today and will continue till 17th of this month. Centre had on Friday announced extension of the lockdown for two more weeks with considerable relaxations in lower risk districts. However, the centre has issued certain guidelines during the extension period. Travel by air, rail, metro and interstate movement by road is not allowed even in the third phase of the lockdown. Schools and educational institutions will remain closed. However, all agriculture-related works would continue to be permitted. Industrial and construction-based activities in rural India, including MG NREGA works, food processing units and brick cleans, would also work as usual. In green zones, all activities other than those not permitted nationwide would be functional. Buses would operate in such zones with 50% seating capacity. Transportation of all goods traffic is permitted across the country. Standalone liquor stores and pawn shops are also allowed to function in non-containment areas. OPDs and medical clinics are permitted to operate in all zones with social distancing norms. Nagaland Chief Secretary Demjan Doi said the state has allowed inter-district movement of migrants and stranded persons in distress which is carried in a regulated manner in the wake of extended lockdown. Addressing media persons today in Kohima, Doi said the state in its separate guidelines has also allowed local taxis and auto rickshaws to ply with condition that local taxi can carry two passengers and one passenger for auto rickshaw. He, however, said the relaxation on taxi and auto rickshaws will not be applicable to 14 bordering subdivisions of the state. He also informed that the associations have agreed not to increase fare in regard to limiting of passengers. The chief secretary also said, despite the lockdown not lifted in the state, Relaxation is given only to those stranded and distressed persons who really need to go back to their d- districts. Reacting to some villagers restricting their own people to enter the village, Doi said instructions have been issued to the villagers that those persons are allowed to enter the village as there is no fear to refuse their entry as the state is in green zone category. He also said necessary action will be taken against those villagers who refused to allow their people to enter. Doi also informed that transit of inter-district movement will be done through Nagaland State Transport. The Chief Secretary further informed that the state government is keeping in touch with different states and other organisations like the railways on how best to bring the stranded persons in the state. With the extension of two weeks lockdown, Nagaland government has informed that sealing of interstate borders will continue in total 
in all the state borders of administrative subdivisions and its subordinate administrative circles starting from today. The government said the total lockdown will be imposed in all the 14 subdivisions of the state. It said only movement of goods vehicle, including those transiting the state, would be allowed after proper medical screening of the drivers and attendants of those vehicles through designated entry and exit points. However, interstate movement of vehicles and individuals will not be allowed in Pandari subdivision. Further, the international border of the state with Myanmar will continue to remain sealed. Centre has clarified that its order allowing movement of migrant workers, tourists, students and others are meant to facilitate movement of the stranded persons. It said the movement during the lockdown is meant for such distressed persons and not to those who are otherwise reciting normally at places other than the native places for the purpose of works and wish to visit their native places in normal course. In a letter to the state chief secretaries, Union Home Secretary Ajay Palla asked them to facilitate the movement of such distressed, stranded persons. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. A total of 2,553 fresh confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours, taking the total number to 42,553. Out of them, 11,706 patients have recovered so far, with a recovery of 1,074 patients in 24 hours, which is the highest number of patients recovered in just one day. Briefing media in New Delhi, health ministry officials said that the recovery rate of patients from COVID-19 infection has gone up to 27.52%. In Nagaland, a total of 708 samples have been sent for testing, out of which 679 samples are negative. The number of samples sent after 3 p.m. yesterday till 3 p.m. today is 24. Meanwhile, the number of sample results awaited is 29. Civil Services Preliminary Examination 2020 has been deferred by the Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation in the country. The UPSC will announce the new exam date of the Civil Services Preliminary Examination on 20th of this month. The UPSC was supposed to organise this prelims exam on 31st of this month for the recruitment in the civil services. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vartan has appealed to voluntary organisations, NGOs and common people to come forward to promote voluntary blood donation to maintain ample blood stocks to meet any eventuality in the country. Speaking at a blood donation camp organised at Indian Red Cross Society in New Delhi today, he said it is our duty to meet their requirements at all times and keep the regular flow of fresh blood in blood banks. The minister asked Red Cross to keep sufficient blood stock for transfusion by promoting voluntary blood donation and providing facilities of pick-up and drop to donors. Exhorting the voluntary blood donors, Dr. Vartan said, saving life of others is a service to mankind and added that a healthy person can donate blood four times in a year till the age of 65. Chief Minister Nipirio said no strategy of any government can be successful unless the people come forward with support and solidarity. In his message to the people of the state last evening, Rio said, as COVID-19 pandemic spread alarmingly across the world, monumental challenges stand in front of us. However, Rio expressed confidence that the state is in a better position to address the challenges as all sections of the society are working collectively with the government machinery to face the hurdles. Rio added that the government has made a cautious exit plan from the lockdown and the various arms of the government machinery will begin to resume responsibilities and assignments. Adding that lifting of lockdown does not imply the end of the virus, Rio maintained that the lockdown is one of the measures to slow the rate of infection. Rio appealed to all sections of the society to diligently follow the official advisories, maintain social distancing and practice the highest standards of hand hygiene. Rio said, as the state cautiously exceeds from lockdown, people of the state will open up 
to a different and changed world and added that one need to adapt, acclimatize and move on. Rio expressed full trust and belief in the resilience of the citizens in these difficult times. Chief Minister Rio requested all citizens of the state to work in unity and win the battle together. As the third phase of nationwide lockdown comes into force from today, records have shown that there is an improvement of air quality during the 40-day lockdown period, which has gone way below the permissible limit. The Nagaland Pollution Control Board, NPCB, has been monitoring the air quality of Kohima and Dimapu under the National Air Monitoring Program. Government of India had categorized the air quality of Kohima and Dimapu city under non-attainment city. The particulate matters, which were found to be above the permissible limit, can be attributed to dusty road conditions, burning of waste, stone crushers and other factors. Data given by NPCB shows there is an improvement of air quality in Dimapu with 71 microgram per cubic meter as compared to the previous year, which recorded 137 microgram per cubic meter. Member Secretary NPCB Dr. Kenye Michio said that main cause of pollution lies with road dust. He, however, added that Nagalin is making good strides in road upgradation. Dr. Mitchell said that it is good to have some baseline data based on which action plan on pollution control can be made. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio launches state-dedicated COVID-19 helpline. Third phase of lockdown comes in the effect from today and will continue till 17th of this month. Chief Secretary Demjan Doi says inter-district movement of migrants and stranded persons allowed in regulated manner. And civil services preliminary exam 2020 postponed in view of COVID-19 pandemic. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.